We are the Greens, a homeschool family of five that has been blessed by God to travel the United States a couple months out of the year, and we're thrilled to have you along on our adventure. We try to live life on the greener side. Click the subscribe button to follow along. After an awesome time at the Field of Dreams movie site, we had a six hour trip to Sioux Falls, but we drove through the worst storm I've ever driven through. It was crazy. We just kept driving. Sometimes we're doing like 25 miles an hour on the highway. When we got to the RV park, our spot was taken and it was still just absolutely pouring. And by the time I got out of the truck to go to the camper to get my rain jacket, I was so soaked. I just nah, I said, forget it. Um, we did figure out where to stay and um, the RV park was nice, but uh, wow, what an adventure this was. I'm so glad that God gave us the protection to keep us safe during this storm. So what's the best thing to do after a storm the following morning? Church, of course. New Life Church is downtown Sioux Falls. So after we went to church, we walked around downtown, got some food at JL Beers, went back to the camper and changed, and then off to see the sights of Sioux Falls. And Sioux Falls is a fantastic city. It is the biggest city in South Dakota. I failed on this one. I was excited to take the girls to Sioux Falls. I'd been there like five years ago and uh, forgot the uh, gimbal, so enjoy the still shots, but uh, try to really remember to bring the, uh, the gimbal uh, to take some video from here on out on the vacation. All right, so two good days in Sioux Falls. Got to take the girls to see the uh, Sioux Falls waterfall and uh, went to church here on Sunday. So uh, good weekend, now we're headed out to Mitchell's our first stop to take them to the Corn Palace, which is a uh, building that they drum or basically create murals on with corn particles. Google it. Uh, and I'll, we'll have pictures here shortly, so pretty cool, love it. And then uh, to Wall Drugs, we're staying at a campground right at Wall Drugs and then uh, hopefully visiting the Badlands this afternoon um, and then a couple days this week before we head off to Mount Rushmore. So. That's where we're at, and uh, um, dealing with the uh, the black tank right now. Yay, dad, dad privilege, and then heading off here. Hopefully, in about a half hour or so. All right, to be continued. Have a great day. We also upgraded to this guy here in Sioux Falls, so better drone shots here in the future. There's a big gym, but there's more pictures of it, like oh. murals made of corn. Oh, no. Yeah, and then afterwards we'll walk around the side and see the other um, pictures they've made. Got it, sir. <laughs> oh, go figure. Uh, Smells like popcorn in the corn palace. Want to sign in? Ask, is there any, is there really any bad kind? 
No. All right, let's go this way. Oh, let's be corns. All right, we can be corn. Yay, we can be corn. Okay, we need a mommy and a, we need a mommy. We'll get a mommy. We need a mommy and Abby. Abby. Oh, I think the high school plays here, Abigail. No, it's a good sized stadium. So do they redo the inside every year also? Yes. What do you think, Abigail? Emily, what do you think? Emily. <laughs> I don't know if they like this as much as I would like it. No. Look, there's where we're going. You see Mount Rushmore? Yeah. Mount Cornmore? You made a corn joke, I'm... Bobby. Said Mount Cornmore? Yeah. Wave hi, mommy. All right, you ready? Nice, cartwheel, oh, bad landing. Wanna do one more? There you go, that's a good one. All right, let's go outside, shall we? What? I know, do you wanna, that's crazy, huh? This place is pretty neat, right? Let's walk and take pictures of these guys and then we're all set. So after the Corn Palace, we were off to Wall to see the Badlands the following day, but we stopped at the Dignity Statue, which we found out was the second tallest Native American, and later in our vacation, we'll see the tallest one in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan.
There you go, Emily. There's a sign you can read. At the same spot here as the Dignity statue, there's a nice little path here that walks out to see the Missouri River where Lewis and Clark went up it um, back in uh, 1804. And it's absolutely beautiful. South Dakota is just an absolutely gorgeous state.